Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up MySQL database server along with PHP MyAdmin on Ubuntu hosted on AWS. So click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing of Amazon and from here you want to click on continue to subscribe. And then you need to click on accept terms and then wait for the validation process to complete. After the validation process is complete, simply click on continue to configuration. After that, choose the AMI, choose the software version and most importantly, choose the region where you want your virtual machine to be deployed. And when you're satisfied, simply click on continue to launch. After that, you can choose to launch the newly created virtual machine from the website or you can use the EC2 management console. So I'm going to click on this drop down menu and select launch through EC2 and then I'm going to click on launch. So this is going to open up the EC2 management console in a new tab. From this page, I can configure my virtual machine. So I'm going to give it some name. After that, scroll down and choose the instance type. And most importantly, choose the key pair. You can create a new key pair or you can go with an already existing one. Remember that this is the key pair that you would be using to connect to the SSH terminal of your virtual machine. When you're satisfied with the setting, simply click on launch instance. And then you need to wait for the deployment process to complete. After that, you can click on view all instances. Now as you can see that our newly created virtual machine is still in the pending state. So wait for it to change to running state. After that, we want to connect to the SSH terminal of our virtual machine. So simply click on our virtual machine, right click and then click on connect. From here, click on SSH and then you can see this command right over here. So you want to copy this command either open up a new command prompt or a powershell paste in this command and replace this path inside this quotation mark for the path where you have downloaded your private key after replacing the path simply hit enter and when prompted type in yes and hit enter once more now you would be connected to the ssh terminal of your virtual machine now the very first command that you want to run inside the ssh terminal is mysql double hyphen user equal to root space double hyphen password hit enter and you will be prompted to type in the password and the password is my sql 1234 after typing in the password simply hit enter after that you would be logged into my sql shell from here you want to create a new user for my sql that would be our root user with a password that we would provide so for that simply click the link in the description box to come to this blog post step by step guide and from here simply copy these last two lines in which we are creating a new user and we're giving in the password in this field make sure to replace this field with the password that you want to give so head back over to our ssh terminal paste in the commands and hit enter now you have successfully set up your mysql database now the last thing that is left to do is to use the php my admin to manage all the databases so for that we are going to head back to ec2 management console from here go back one step click on our virtual machine and copy the public IPv4 address. After that, open up a new tab, paste in the IP address, followed up by a forward slash, followed up by PHP my admin. And by the way, this image that is available on the AWS marketplace contains the full LAMP stack, which is the Apache web server, PHP my admin, MySQL, and PHP. Now that you can see this form on your screen, simply type the username as root and then type in the password. After that, simply hit on go. Now you can see that you have successfully logged in to PHP my admin. So now you have configured your MySQL database and you can use PHP my admin to manage all the databases on your Ubuntu hosted on AWS. So that brings us to the end of this video. If you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave them in the comment section and make sure to check out the links in the description box for the AWS marketplace listing as well as the step by step blog post guide. And if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.